I uh, gotta say, I and mean, I'm not like doing like typical. Oh, she's a woman, so I gotta praise her. I gotta say, I first of all, I am critical of female content. That's why I always go into Torsh's chat and make fun of her because she's kind of retarded. But with Ali here, Ali actually real fam sapien in the chat. She does provide solid content. We are chatting in the DMs respectfully, Major Tom. Don't fucking call the special forces on me to get killed. I am keeping it very, very, very platonic. I, remember, I know a man and his woman are a sacred thing, but from creator to creator, this woman is doing the Lord's work. I got to say, she posted this, and this is from the feminist account, so of course it's cancer. Moms before the pandemic, I need some help. Work, childcare, laundry, exercise, meal planning, date nights? Question like, no, no, raise your kid. Stop worrying about getting more dick. Raise your kid, okay? You, this is a mistake you made, okay? Uh, learn about relationships, okay? That's what you should do. Appointments, social life, question mark. Uh, your kids are your social life, lady, okay? Family scheduling, cleaning, groceries, household supplies, school meetings, paperwork, QT, quality time with kids, bills, mom guilt. I think it's hilarious. Mom guilt. What the fuck is mom guilt even mean? What does that even mean? Mom guilt. Bitch, you had a fucking child. Okay, you let the man put his dick inside you without a condom and he released hot sperm inside of you and fertilized your fucking eggs. You could have taken plan B. What is this? Mom guilt? What is this shit? I need some help. <clears throat> I thought you were, I thought you were a woman. I thought you, I thought you were better than men. I think you can do this by yourself. Moms now. Help, help, please, after the pandemic, right? All the same thing. COVID stress, testing, cleaning, groceries. So, you have accepted the truth. Thank you, Display Teeth, for signing up and hitting that subscribe button. Meetings, paperwork, quality time to kid, bills, okay? The rest of the world, breaking, moms drowning, help. We're right here, help, please, right? Uh, you know, it's just hilarious. Hilarious to see just no, no, like, where, where, let me ask you. Now, and then shout out to Wolf. Uh, it's weird because the monitor's over here, but I have to point over here. Uh, Wolf NGU with the $1.49 uh, great or euro donation. Thank you so much with the trees. Um, but yeah, so uh, where are the where is the relief fund for men who commit like more than 90% of all suicides on the planet? Nobody gives a fuck. Why? Because men are expendable. Welcome to real world, boys. You are only as good as your last success. Women do not love you if you're a fucking loser. Right? You got to have that fire. You got to have that drive. You got to have that energy. All right? So that being said, it's very adorable to see this shit. And, and who are they expecting to help them? Right? I, what, what happened to the sisterhood? Right? Where, who are they asking help from? They're asking help from men. Feminists are fucking delusional, entitled, mentally damaged women. I have never met a happy feminist. I have never met a modern woman who actually has her shit together that doesn't have her family heavily behind her being like, yo, stop doing that. Stop making bad choices. The only, the only women that I know that are older, modern women, that actually have their shit together, okay, which is like not out slutting around, not obese, not riddled in credit card debt, not drinking alcohol, not getting pumped and dumped from fucking sun up to sundown, all while crying their way to like, oh, nobody loves me. I'm just Let's see. I got pumped and dumped for two years, three years, four years, five years in a row. Uh, I think this time on Tinder and Bumble and Hinge, it's going to be different. There we go, right? All, all while demanding per the perfect Prince Charming to come to them. Demanding, demanding. Allie and I, Real Fam Sapien in the chat, we were talking about her friends, and she was saying that, like, if she has, because, look, no relationship is drama-free, first of all. So get your fucking head out your ass. No relationship is drama-free. Every relationship has struggles. Life is a struggle. And then you die. And when you die, you don't wake up. It's not a, not a happy ending, kids. You're going to be fucking dead. Deal with it. Grow up. Live in a strange place that fewer people 
want to live in. That's called reality. That's where you're based in truth. And the more you cling to the uncomfortable truth of reality and really base all of your life decisions off of making your reality better, that is how people become successful. Anyways, so <clears throat> she was talking about how when she has problems, you know, not even problems, but when there's hiccups in the relationship, because there's hiccups in my relationship, me and my girl talked to fucking Paul. We had a, we had a, a, a group counseling session the other night, Paul Apex Mindset, okay? This is normal, but the average modern woman, aka pig, thinks that, oh, if there's one hiccup in the relationship, fuck him. Leave his ass. Leave his ass. Oh, he fucking did what? He he got drunk and threw up on the couch. Girl, you could do so much better. Join me in fat, delusional, depressed land. These bitches have lost their fucking mind. They have lost their mind. It is a nation of crazy bitches running around in the Western, uh, the Western, Western side of the world. And that's, that's the modern woman. Don't get me wrong. Here's the deal. I would say this, 85% of women involved, involved in any kind of corporate life, behind the scenes at home, this shit's a fucking mess. I know a very, very, very small percentage of girls. Dude, I'm talking, f dude, 10% would be, like, gratuitous, all right? 10% of women that I know are actually, have their head on straight, they're not out whoring, they're not out blowing money. They're not out there getting fucking heartbroken, pumped and dumped and depressed and all that shit, okay? And you know what it is? They have a good family intact where the father is the head of the household and he is respected by the mother. Just because the father's there, but he's the laughing stock of the fucking goddamn family and there's disrespect there, no, 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 that, don't, that doesn't work. Because they, the woman will look at the father, and that is her model for masculinity. The, the, a woman's father is the first male love she feels in her life. That's why girls who have a bad dad or have an abusive dad or have no dad or have a drug-addicted dad, whatever, they come out a little, you know, hey, it is what it is. And they go out. They look for male validation via love and sex because they don't know what pure male love feels like. They don't know what it's like to have a, a good father at home loving them and making them feel safe and warm and welcome, right? So you got these bitches running around, bleh, just leave him, bleh, leave him, bleh. One, one mistake, bleh, leave him, right? Meanwhile, as the modern woman goes through her life, what happens? She is going through life. Every dick she takes just lowers that value and adds some kind of psychological problem that someone down the road has to pick up and fucking fix, okay? And they do this until their fucking 30s and 40s, and then some of these girls wake up. Majority of them don't. You're, gonna, you're, seeing, you're seeing the tail end of the nasty third-wave, fourth-wave feminism in your um, your modern woman now. Like, look at Fresh and Fit after hours. That's the result of feminism. That's the result. Reprehensible. I want to pull my eyes out with my fucking hands when I sit down and I listen to the fucking archaic babble that comes out of these harlots' mouths. Just like, oh, God, like, how do you even exist when I look at these girls on Fresh and Fit After Hours, I'm like, life is too easy. It is too easy because these creatures of the night are somehow alive. 